Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're having a great day. Today in this video, we are going to be making a quiche. And basically a quiche is like an egg pie. And so our quiche today is going to have a couple extra ingredients. And to make it kind of special, we're going to use bacon and also spinach. So let me show you all the ingredients we're going to use. To make our quiche, we're going to need, of course, eggs. And today we're using five eggs. And we're going to use milk, bacon, cheese, onion, a little bit of butter, pepper, and salt. Just a little bit of these. And also we're going to be using fresh uh, spinach today. First step is to preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 205 degrees Celsius. A couple of ingredients I've already pre-prepared is our shredded cheese and I've already cooked and diced up our bacon as well. Now we need to get the spinach ready so I've already pulled all the leaves off and we're going to chop that up into really fine pieces. Quiche makes a really good breakfast meal. We're actually gonna be eating it for our lunch today, but typically I think quiche is eaten for breakfast. Also, this recipe, we're not going to be using a crust. So you can have a crustless quiche, but you can also make it with a crust. All right, we're just finishing up the spinach here, getting it nice and diced up. And I've also pre-prepared the onions, so these are diced up really fine as well. All of our ingredients are prepared and now it's time to assemble and to get our pan ready. Today I'm using a nine inch Pyrex pan, pie pan, and we're going to lightly grease this. And I'm just using margarine. And you just wanna go all the way around the sides and the bottom of your pan. All right, we're gonna start with our eggs. And you guys know that I've been traumatized by eggs turning out rotten. And so I like to crack them in a smaller bowl first. That way I make sure that all of the eggs are good. So, so far so good. We've got two good eggs. And this way also you can get the shells out if you happen to get any in there like I just did. Let's add one cup of milk to our eggs. Add that in there. Beat this together. Now we're going to add our onions. Beat that again. Now let's add our spinach and beat this around again. It's a good idea every time you add an ingredient to just whisk it around a little bit. Make sure everything gets evenly mixed up. Now let's add our two tablespoons of butter. That's one and two. Mix this again. Now we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt. And also we're going to add some coarse pepper, black pepper. Let's mix this around. We have our pie pan here that's already greased. And so we're going to just pour our egg mixture into the pie pan. And now we're going to take our bacon and we're gonna sprinkle it evenly around our quiche. Just try to make it even because the pieces are gonna sink as well. Don't forget the edges. And lastly, we have our cheese. And so do the same thing with your cheese. Sprinkle it evenly all around your quiche. There we go. Now let's get it in the oven. Let's carefully put our quiche into the oven. And if your oven is small like mine, this might be kind of tricky. So just be careful as you get it in there because that will make a huge mess if you hurry and then slosh it everywhere. You have a big mess to clean up. Whew, we did it. All right, we're gonna give it about 20 minutes in our oven until it's set and not jiggly anymore. It's been a little over 20 minutes and we wanna check to see how our quiche is doing because we don't wanna have an overcooked quiche or an undercooked quiche. So it can be a little bit tricky. So let's open the oven and check it out. Let's go ahead and open up our oven and check on it. Now one way to check is to just jiggle it a little bit. And if it is jiggly in the middle, then you know your quiche is not done. So this quiche is not ready to be taken out of the oven yet because the center is still jiggling around when I jerk the quiche around. Another way is to use a knife or a toothpick and put it into the middle of your quiche 
and then pull it straight out. And then look carefully at your knife and if you see any liquid like this, this is all eggy. I can tell there's a bunch of liquid here. It's not dry and this quiche is not ready. So we're gonna put it back in the oven. Okay, it's been about 10 more minutes. Let's pull it out and check it. Wow, it's really poofed up now. And I'm jiggling it and the center is not jiggling as well. Now let's stab it and pull it out. There's just a little bit of moisture, but that's probably grease or oil from the uh, bacon or the cheese, but there's no egg or anything. So let's take this quiche out of the oven and let it cool. All right guys, so here is the quiche right here. It looks pretty cool. It's got like a little tiny bit of crust on it. And then inside what I can see is some greenery, which I'm guessing is spinach. And I can see the bacon in there. And of course, eggs, yeah? There's no crust. Well, I mean like it's it's the top part. Oh, cheese. cheese. Oh, it's cheese. It's got a cheese crust. <laughs> All right, let's give it a try here. A good bite here. Hmm. Super good. Oh, good. <laughs> I was Scared worried. You, huh? I was worried. It's really good. Really, really good. Cool. Surprised. I always thought quiche was like kind of sissy sounding, but it's pretty good stuff, guys. And you're eating some vegetables. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Seth. Now, Seth doesn't really like cheese very much. No, so, so I, I got a bite without the cheese. You got a bite without cheese? Okay. Yes. Go. <laughs> It kind of tastes like an omelet. So I think quiche is basically like an omelet in a cake form. A pie form. A pie form. <laughs> Good though. All right, Sarah. My turn. Mm. Looks really good. It smells like an omelet. That's what it smells like to me too. Mmm, <laughs> whoa. You like it? This is so good. Nobody mentioned the bacon. Can you taste the bacon? Yeah, the bacon's really good. Okay. It's like a little sour. Like in a good way. <laughs> it tastes so good. Like I could eat a lot of this. Cool. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Alright guys, the family likes it, so I guess it's my turn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is really good. Really good. And you guys could be really creative with making quiche. Just make sure that you have eggs cheese and milk or cream of some some sort like that and then you can add bunches of different stuff vegetables you could add mushrooms to this that would probably be really good the recipe is in the description of the video you guys can go check that out please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like this video hope you guys have a great day and keep smiling is that okay uh, did i forget anything no but was you're fired. <laughs>